A once highly sought after career, now one of the most challenging to fill. CBS News reports 50 years ago, one in five bachelor's degrees were in the field of education. But nowadays, that's far from the case, according to the National Center for Educational Statistics. It's a problem felt everywhere, but especially in rural areas, which tend to struggle with funding due to lower student numbers. That's why the Michigan Department of Education is trying to reverse that trend. TV5's Lenita Brooks shows us how it's hoping to fill the rural teacher gap in Michigan. Can I carry a book? Good job. Textbooks. Mm -O -S. Chalkboards. <laughs> and summer's off. The life of being a teacher, once an ideal career. So from the rack is the prepositional phrase. Now seemingly unappealing to the masses. Group A, these two right here. Teaching is without question the most impactful work that happens on a day-to-day -day basis. Class, class. Yes, yes. Teacher shortages are not unique to Michigan, but school leaders here are taking initiative to boost up interest in the shrinking field. Central Michigan University is spearheading a new program to assist rural teachers in getting their credentials. Here at Central Michigan University, we've been involved in educator preparation since our very start. You, when you're asking questions... This program aims to help by fast-tracking those that already have some type of advanced college degree get into the classroom. But it doesn't stop there. For those already in rural classrooms, they can get help by obtaining additional credentials to specialize in their topic of choice. All of this will be supported through Central Michigan's new hub, My Career, which stands for the Michigan Consortium for Addressing Rural Education Expansion and Retention. Paula Lancaster is the Dean of the College of Education and Human Services. The use of the hub will be highly individualized. So we do see that there will be a lot of flexibility uh, there will be a lot of variability between participants and how they use it and, um, and how it helps them. My Career Hub was funded through a two-year, $15 million grant from the state to address teacher shortages. According to the Michigan Education Association, it's estimated that up to 10,000 teachers are leaving their jobs in Michigan each year, and only 5,000 are entering in the field to take their place. The focus on the hub is really on uh, participants or individuals who are likely already working in schools in some capacity, um, have a bachelor's degree maybe in some other field, but would like to become a teacher or are close to that bachelor's degree and would like to become a teacher. And so we're also building in a mechanism that will honor the experiences that they've already had. Typically kids who one of the biggest barriers for paraprofessionals in rural areas is the lack of access to resources and proximity to a university. With rural school districts comprising 65% of the state school districts and 31% of its students, the hub's impact will be far-reaching. We're located in the center of the state, and we are a bit unique here at CMU in educator preparation because our student teachers our candidates, teacher candidates is what we generally call them, they are placed all over the state. So we have a very, very broad reach in that way. And so the cool thing about this hub is that while CMU serves as the starting point, the possibilities are endless. We have you know, Saginaw Valley State um, just to the east of us. We have Northern Michigan in the UP. We have Eastern Michigan, Southeast, and then we have MSU kind of on the west. Um, between all of our partnerships and with us at the center, we, we are very confident that we'll be able to reach the entirety of Michigan. Following advocacy from the Michigan Department of Education, the grant was made possible through an investment in the state's fiscal year 2024 budget and signed into law by Governor Gretchen Whitmer. The advancements we made in this budget in terms of funding in our schools but also to student teachers was driven by, you know, solving a problem where we've got too few people that are going into the profession and too many that are retiring or leaving. And so this is um, work that we must continue to do. Right. Depending on placement, students can take in-person or online classes. Applicants can input their current experience into the assessment tool and have a program that is tailored based on their experience and preference when someone would apply, you're connected with a school district or a community that needs teachers. And so we start right away with, do you have a placement? Great, we're gonna get you in that placement, we're gonna get you working. And then that work also adds to 
the credits. Lancaster says with an industry in urgent need of workers, this is the best approach. Teachers change lives, they just do. And it is their day-to-day -day work. Um, but we don't talk about that part of the work very often. We don't talk about how incredibly gratifying it is, um, the impact, the legacy that teachers have. So coming back to that conversation, I think will make a big difference. Pedro, you're in charge, buddy. Reporting for WNEM-TV5, I'm Lenita Brooks.